In less than half a decade, Bitcoin has went from a little-known cryptocurrency to one of the world's hottest crazes, with prices skyrocketing up to 150,000% in only four years. Bitcoin was first released in 2009. It may have been the first cryptocurrency, but it was not the last. As Bitcoin's success ballooned, other cryptocurrencies came into existence. Litecoin, Monero, and more recently, Ethereum. Each of these cryptocurrencies are based on the same basic principle, blockchain. Although the underlying principles behind blockchain were introduced in the early 1990s, these principles were not put into practice until Satoshi Nakamoto used them to create a public ledger forming the backbone of a peer-to-peer -peer monetary system in 2008. Today this system is known as Bitcoin, and the basis of the public ledger became blockchain as we know it today. So what is blockchain? In a standard network, two computers will communicate directly with one another. Although these communications can be encrypted, communications can be forged or intercepted, making these confidential transactions vulnerable to fraud and hackers. Blockchain solves this problem. With blockchain, the public ledger is composed of a chain of blocks, each representing a chain of transactions. Whenever a new transaction is placed, it is added to the ledger, and the ledger is sent to all computers in the network who are participating. We call these users miners. The miners each work to encrypt these blocks with complex cryptography, thus the name cryptocurrency. After these computers finish their cryptography, each computer cross-references its block with the blocks produced by the other computers, while also verifying the past blocks in each chain. If these blocks do not completely match, an error is found. This self-correcting process makes it incredibly difficult to find to produce fraud or hack a blockchain, since each of these infiltrations will get caught, stopped, and corrected in the verification process. For a hacker to fraudulently modify the ledger, they will need to infiltrate potentially thousands of systems and communications to be successful compared to just one or two intrusions in a traditional system. Partially due to its use in circumnavigation of the general banking system, cryptocurrency and subsequently the blockchain have developed the reputation of being used mostly for shadowy practices. However, today on most popular cryptocurrencies besides Monero, the ledgers are public. All transactions can be accessed. Thus, these currencies are not generally used for illegal practices. In fact, major business-oriented companies such as Oracle and IBM have begun research initiatives into blockchain technology. These companies see a use case for their traditional business clients who deal with transactions and secure data transfer on a daily basis. Blockchain can offer a whole new level of security to these daily tasks, many of which form the building blocks of modern society, yet require large teams of security experts to maintain their integrity. This has the potential of ushering society into a whole new era of data transfer, the era of the blockchain. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support more content like this, consider supporting us through Patreon, PayPal, or by shopping with our Amazon affiliate link. Links are in the video description below.